Hello and welcome to another episode of Quasi's Corner with me, Quasi, in association with Drum Shack. Today, uh, we're going to be touching on some of these little djembes and big djembes that we have on offer and the discerning uh, factors um, that differentiate them all. Big words. I'm next. So, for those of you who aren't familiar with djembes, um, djembes are an African instrument um, based in various parts of Africa, uh, or originating in various parts of Africa. Um, Ghana, Ivory Coast, Congo, all, all kinds of countries um, utilize this drum as their main source of rhythmic inspiration. And it's been used for thousands of years. For those of you who don't know, um, part of my origin or ancestry is that of Ghanaian descent. And uh, my family are big on this. Um, we have, <laughs> to be honest, my family home, we've got about five, six djembes just lying around the house. Um, but they come in different shapes and sizes nowadays as technology has come on. Um, you don't just have uh, wooden ones with goat heads, which is what they were originally, goat heads or some kind of animal head. Um, you also have synthetic ones um, made of plastic or carbon fiber with uh, you know plastic heads on them. So <clears throat> this particular one is uh, 12 inches um, in diameter, diameter, there you go. And uh, I would say, I don't know, about 30 inches. And it's designed to be able to put in between the legs and play like so. So basically the way I would do this is put it in between the legs and then tuck one leg in the un underneath so that you've still got, uh, you know, it being able to resound as it were. And I just lean it forward and you've got the bass notes in the middle and right at the edge, you've got the high notes. The way I play it, to be honest, is just with rudiments and vibes, you know. I didn't do teaching for that, but, uh, you know, met some very interesting people because of this instrument. That's another story altogether, but, you know, um, it's, a, it's a powerful thing to have this, and which is why they probably call it powerful drums. Next up, we have the Bukhara. Um, this is not far off a djembe in terms of size and shape, um, but slightly different. This originates from the Ivory Coast, and this particular brand is by uh, Saw Valley Music. So it's a Bukhara that is uh, 11 inches in diameter, a um, bit shorter than the previous, uh, you know, djembe. But again, um, very intricate designs on the wood itself, rope tied, goat's head, goat skin head. This is tuned a bit higher as well. Um, and very nice design. It's not wax finished inside, but it's very smooth and um, ready to go. Um, as I mentioned just a minute ago, this is uh, a bit tighter. Still got that nice bassy tone about it. And yeah, it's a bit cheaper, obviously. Um, but very good value for money and they sound great and they do come in different sizes as well um, both powerful drums and the Silver Island Music Bacaro comes um, in sizes ranging from like 8 inch to about 13 um, and beyond if we do special orders so you know you've got a, a spectrum of sounds to choose from so this is <coughs> the Ivory Coast um, made Bukharas not far off the Ghanaian djembe um, sound great, provide a slightly different tone and different feel and different look.
this particular drum represents something a bit different, right? So this one is actually second hand, but we at Drum Shack can actually provide it brand new. Um, this was made by Remo, and it's a Remo Djembe. And um, this is 14 um, inches in diameter and 24 inches uh, in length. Um, this is made of um, not carbon fiber, but a special material that's made by Remo out of literally paper. Um, and so it's like very natural, not made of wood at all, provides great resonance. And the skin on top, believe it or not, is not a, any animal skin. It's called fiber skin. It's another um, <coughs> man-made uh, product that's made by Remo um, to go on the skin. Um, this has a very resonant tone. I used to have a couple of uh, congas uh, Remo Congas, and they were absolutely uh, amazing. Nice resonant, very heavy because they were on a heavy frame, but they were made out of the same stuff. And these are, you know, usually quite quite expensive because they're, they're quality instruments. We had this one for a bit cheaper. See the price right there. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is for those of you who don't have to, uh, you know, look after it too much. The thing is, the, the difference, the main difference is between um, you know, synthetic head uh, djembes and uh, you know, goat skin is that these, I mean, yes, they will change with the weather a little bit, but not at the same rate as goat skins. You know, um, goat skins will uh, contract and expand um, very rapidly based on the environment they're put in. So the heat, the cold affects it a lot. And if it's put in too extreme a weather or a, a climate, um, <clears throat> then it will it will break. Um, whereas synthetic heads, you get less of that. It does still happen, but to a lesser degree. Um, so you have to be very careful, you know, when you got when you're using when you, when you're buying a a, a real uh, headed uh, instrument because you're gonna have to cover it properly or put it in the right place at the right time, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. This not so much. Last but not least, we have uh, a another brand called Toka. They uh, produced uh, carbon fiber um, djembes, plastic, you know, and they come with synthetic heads as well. They look like real heads, but they're not. Um, they're rope tied just like, you know, like real little djembes. Um, but these particular ones come in different sizes. This one I'm holding right now is nine inches in diameter. There is one that's also seven inches in diameter, and there's one that's bigger than that, that's um, 14 inches, um, 13 or 14 inches. Um, they're all listed on the website. Um, and these ones are very, very boomy, very easy to, to handle, extremely light, as you can see, compared to the wooden ones. Um, and very playable. Um, these are perfect, especially the small ones. I mean, you can get small ones, obviously, in the, in the natural ones. But you know, if you if, if you want, you know, to something that you can provide for a a kid, beginner, you know, something that's low maintenance. These are perfect, and they they're a bit cheaper as well. Um, but it's based on what you need, really. Um, do you want something that's more quality, lasts for a while, and you know, there are say become a family heirloom of some sorts or something that you could just you know bung into the back of a, a car or whatever take it on on your travels and not worry about it too tough this is this is that very light um, extremely resonant based on what it's made from um, it's got some sort of design you know African style design they come in a couple of different um, finishes but um, I mean this is not really an African design I mean it's, it's like some sort of cheaper wrap but you know does a job looks ethnic I guess is what they're looking for and uh, pretty 
fun to pick up and play. And, you know, good option for, like I said, those of you who <coughs> want something low maintenance, want to buy a gift for a younger kid or someone who's not particularly going to spend a lot of time loving this uh, too tough, but is going to, you know, use it and have fun with it without too much maintenance, if you see what I'm saying. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's a good option. As you can see from this video, uh, djembes and bukaras are fun to play. Um, great to um, use uh, for a quick jam. Um, moderately portable or very portable, depending what size you get it in. And, and uh, just generally easy to use, you know. Um, you don't have to be an expert. I'm far from it. I just mess around, you know and anybody can have a load of fun on this, um, either in a drum circle or playing an acoustic setup, you know, with, 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 with uh, acoustic guitars or somewhat, um, something like that, of that, you know, ilk. Or otherwise, you know, it's a great little um, gift uh, for someone or, you know, for yourself, if you decide you want some quick rhythm in your life, you know. So um, please do come by check the shop, um, you know, find out what these are about. Because there's quite a few uh, in store, both new and second hand, so you, know, you can, you know, touch stuff, sit down, play one, play the other, compare, you know, see for yourself what it's saying. So, you know, for those of you who aren't familiar with this kind of stuff, I hope this has been useful to you, enlightened you somewhat um, when it comes to purchasing a gift for a loved one or anybody else who needs one of these. And uh, yeah, any questions, don't hesitate to contact the shop, either via email or telephone, and they will be on hand to assist. So without further ado, I bid you adieu. Adieu. All right, take care.